welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. In this video, we are going to install Visual Studio Code on FreeBSD. Because VS Code is a graphical application, the starting point will be FreeBSD with a desktop environment. And in this case, I have configured XFCE, and I have configured sudo for my user account. If you need help configuring any of this, check out the various videos that are linked in the description. As a first step, we need to install Visual Studio Code. You can download it straight from Microsoft's website by visiting code.visualstudio.com. Once there, the website has recognized my operating system as some sort of Linux and automatically displays the Linux downloads. That's not what we need, so let's try to click other platforms. And of course, we already knew this, VS Code is only available for Windows, macOS and Linux, and that's most likely also why you have found this video. VS Code has been ported to FreeBSD, and its Fresh Ports page describes the port that is named Visual Studio Code Open Source, or VS Code OSS. The date of the last update is also recent, always a good indicator that you are working with an active project. There are two methods of installing, where I would of course recommend that you start with the easy method first. To make your life easy, just try to install VS Code straight from the package repository. Type pkg install vs code, add sudo if you have this configured, alternatively switch to the root user account. Type y for yes to install the packages. And if this works for you, simply typing vs code from the terminal should start it. It will also be added to the menu structure and an XFCE that is in the development group. There is VS Code OSS listed. Let me start it. As an example, I will configure it for Python development, and I won't explain every step. For this, you might find the video Install and Configure Visual Studio Code and Python on Linux useful, which is one to one applicable to VS Code OSS on FreeBSD as well and that video will provide some additional information. Because this is the first time, the Get Started with VS Code screen appears. Choose a team if you want to, but other than that, we can now ignore the rest and select Mark Done. At the time of recording, the latest release of VS Code OSS is version 1.101.2. On the left hand side, click the extensions icon, the icon of the little blocks, and search for Python. But because this is so popular, the Python extension is top of the list without actually searching for Python. Click install and wait a few seconds. The Python debugger, the second item in the list, is also included and will automatically be installed. Click trust publisher and install. And then install anyway. Give it a few seconds to finish the installation. And both the Python and the Python debugger extensions are now installed. Our welcome page Get Started with Python Development opens up. We can close this and open the file explorer from the left hand side. Click Open Folder and specify a folder that will serve as your development folder and you can add multiple if you want. I will start with a folder Python created directly in my home directory. Just browse to your specific folder, new or existing, and then click Open. Then select Trust the authors of all files in the parent folder, because most likely this is your own computer anyway, and then click Yes, I trust the authors. Open the folder and add a new file. Let's name it test.py. This video is not a Python tutorial, so let's keep it very simple here. And tell Python that we want to print something to the screen. And then ask the user for some input, and then echo it back. Pretty simple. Once done, click the play button. This will open a small but very handy terminal window near the bottom where we can see the output of our test.py Python script. When it is working, you have successfully installed and configured VS Code OSS and the Python extension on your FreeBSD system.
by clicking the little arrow besides the play button, you can start the Python debugger as well, where you can run your Python script and pause at any time by adding a breakpoint to have a look at the variable contents at any given time. You can very effectively debug Python code in VS Code, allowing you to diagnose and fix issues in your programs. In this example, I'm going to change the value of the variable test input while the program is running. If you want to remove VS Code OSS, type pkg remove VS Code. This will of course also remove it from the menu structure. VS Code is an Electron application. An Electron is a free and open source software framework designed to create desktop applications using web technologies. I will leave it at that, but according to Wikipedia, it is the main GUI framework behind several open source projects, including GitHub Desktop, WordPress Desktop, but also Visual Studio Code. If the easy method, so basically PKG install VS Code, is not working for your version of FreeBSD, this might be because Electron is blacklisted. That's a very generic statement, by the way, because it might be only a specific version of Electron, and other versions might still work. As a first step, you could try to switch from the quarterly to the latest package repository, as per the video, FreeBSD repositories explained, fix missing packages easily. If that also doesn't work, unfortunately, then you will have to look at building VS Code from source. If you find that the installation of VS Code through the package repository isn't working for you, you can try the less easy method. And this would involve building VS Code from the FreeBSD ports collection. For more details on this, please refer to the videos FreeBSD Essentials, Working with the FreeBSD Ports Collection and FreeBSD Essentials, How to Build Software from Source in FreeBSD. And both are of course linked in the video description for your convenience. Start by installing the Git packets. PKG install Git. and then simply clone the entire FreeBSD ports tree to avoid any missing dependencies later on, with the git clone command that is on screen now. Then update the local ports tree to the latest, git dash capital C, forward slash user, forward slash ports, all. But I need to run it with sudo, so let me change that. And now it's time to actually build and install VS Code from source. Navigate into its directory, User Ports Editors VS Code. And then run the command make install clean to start the process. As mentioned, more details will be in the linked videos, but be prepared that this can take a very, very long time. Just a tip, if you don't want to keep confirming the various dialogues during the make install process, but you want to walk away and run this from start to finish without requiring any user interaction, include batch in capitals equals yes, like this. Once finished, VS Code won't show up in the menu structure, you will have to add that yourself, but you can start it from the terminal with the same command, VS Code. That's it, hope it helped, and if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time, bye.